Hey guys, and welcome back to Fringe Friday. I am Carmen, and today we are delving into season three, episode 22 of Fringe. That's right, the finale of season three. We have finally made it here, which is wild to me because I feel like I was just watching season three, episode one, like two weeks ago. And now we're here at the end of season three. Uh, after the way the last episode ended, I am intrigued, stressed, confused. Um, <laughs> lots of stuff happened in the last episode. The highlight reel is Peter went into the machine, something happened, and I think he's in the future now. Not really sure how that happened. Not really sure what that means for everybody that was left behind on Liberty Island. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the... <laughs> Lots of other stuff happened in the, in the previous episode, but that's kind of where we're at right now, right? Like, he went in the machine, something happened, and now we're in 2021 at least possibly 22, 23, 24, like who knows? Who knows? Not me. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble at you guys for any longer. I just wanna see this episode and see what, what happens. So let's do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some ready just in case, you know, I have, I have fear. <laughs> Isn't this a big Where are we at? Also Agent Bishop, worth discussing. Okay, he's in the hospital, right? Peter Bishop, Good. 47 years old. Need some, 47? He was 32 before. So it's been 15 years. So it's 20, 2026? May 20th, 2026, okay. I'd like to find out how Peter Bishop is doing. May I see your badge? I don't have a badge yet, I was just promoted last week. Oh, is it Ellie? Is it her? Is, is, is this her? Thank you, Agent Dunham. I knew it! <sighs> Peter's fine, Aunt Liv. He's in recovery. I mean, uh, Agent Dunham, ma'am. You can just call me boss like everybody else. She's so big! People are saying that it's the end of dares. We think it's Moreau. Moreau? How are you feeling? Oh, just like new. I'm so confused. Okay, I see wedding rings. Do you remember what you're saying in the field about the machine and being from the past? Well, I didn't say I didn't get my bell rung, but I'm doing better now. Two eggs over easy bacon and grapefruit juice. That's what I made you for breakfast on Sunday. Oh, I, I, I'm confused. There's a stage three tear. We've initiated AMBA protocol. I, I am, I, I need to know what happened. He is from the past. Like, how did, how did we get here? That's the AMBA, right? Okay, so that's not the amber. They're going to the places where they're putting the amber and they're just destroying the place instead. This is an interesting um, black and white uh, intro. Okay. We think we found an electrolyte. It must have been a dud. I believe so. We finally get to see one. Okay. I witness statements. Where's Walter and Broyles? Not only can I not tell you how the thing works, according to all the readings, it shouldn't be working at all. You know, there's probably only one person on Earth who could tell us how this thing functions. Walter. Yeah? Got any markers you could call in? And you think now's the time? I think it might be past time. 
I'm confused. Is he in prison? Why would Walter be in prison? I don't understand. Oh, he's... Hello, Walter. Must be bad if they didn't you see me. It is. Why are you there? A wormhole opened in Central Park. It took us months, but we were finally able to amber it over. A wormhole shouldn't emit that type of radiation. Not, not unless it's a wormhole through time. Exactly right. The carbon levels were consistent with the late Paleozoic era. Paleozoic? Sauropods. What? I need your help. I would I would need an explanation for why Walter's in here. Well, some kind of light bomb. It's made by a terrorist group. They call themselves the end of dayers. They use them on soft spots, trying to rip holes in the fabric of the universe. Why? They're trying to accelerate the end of days. Even if I could help you, I can't do it from here. I would need my tools. We both know that's not going to happen. Again, why? That was, uh, that happened on the other side too, Hello, right? Peter. Thank you for your time. No need for formality in here. It's good to see you. What happened to his eye? He's a senator? I'm so confused. We recovered this device from what's left of the Opera House. Science Division's been trying to crack the technology, but without much luck. What do you need? I need Walter. I want you to grant him a temporary furlough so he can help us on the case. That's out of the question, I'm sorry. If we can understand this technology, we might be able to prevent future attacks. Consult with him in prison if you need to. That's all I can offer. Why? Yeah. You worried about your re-election prospects? You know me better than that. I'm worried about that. The entire globe is disintegrating. We're running around putting on band-aids, and every day more people are lost because of it, and Walter is responsible. Is that why he's in prison? But... Just, how could they even prove him. it? And I know his intentions weren't this, but there's not a single person out there who hasn't lost someone they love because of him. You can't begrudge the anger they feel towards him. I don't. And if we can figure out this technology, I guarantee you, we will prevent future casualties. Okay. So is, is he only in prison because of... What we lost in Detroit still means anything to you. Just give me one chance. What did you lose in Detroit? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> you asked to be here. Oh. No. Astrid's a fringe agent now. We need her out in the field. Well, since she's no longer caring for me, she's able to... Hmm. Didn't realize how much I've missed swivel chairs. I've also missed how... swiveling. How long's he been in prison? Visited. Is it gonna be Astrid? That's gonna make me happy sad. Aunt Olivia! Walter. Olivia! <laughs> wonder how long it's been since they've been able to see each other. Congratulations are in order, my dear. What for? With the wedding, of course. Oh. Well, that was a while ago now. This is the first opportunity I've had to give you an appropriate welcome to our family. I always did want a daughter. For goodness sake, doesn't the word fragile mean anything to you? Is it you? <laughs> I learned to control her a few years ago. I'm impressed. Huh? What's the next target? A wormhole in Central Park. Considering your world was destroyed by a wormhole, I suppose it's fitting. Is it Walter? It's Walter, right? <laughs> Walter is behind it. It won't be long till this world joins mine. What would be your purpose of that, though? Just revenge like would the devastation of losing billions of lives not be enough why, why would you want billions more to die 
I didn't understand it till it was too late that our two worlds were inextricably linked. Without one, the other simply cannot exist. And their world was destroyed. It was the day we sealed our fate. That's good, though. Like, if, if Peter can to go back to the past, then he knows that. Right? Have okay, you seen but. Him? Walt in it? So they know he's here. No, nobody has. It's become a reckless. Imagine coming over here to try and save your world, only to be stuck here when your world was destroyed. Not to mention okay. having the same face as the most reviled man in the universe. I just wanted to say, at the trial, you spoke on my behalf. Walter, I'm the one who got in the machine. I'm the one who destroyed the other universe. The courts perceived that you did it to defend our universe, and so do I. This all began with me, my hubris. Walter, and I just wanted to say thank you. No matter who's at fault, you're my dad. from across the street gave it to us. Ah, uh, okay. It's you like... and me and the little baby that we're gonna have. But she is planning on babysitting. Oh. Well, I think we should get started on that right away. You're really gonna use a drawing from a little girl to get lucky? <laughs> it sounds so dirty when you say it like that. She's a sweet little girl. I never had kids. You know, hon, if you wanted to reconsider, I can't say that I don't think about it. That I don't wish things were different. What kind of life could you give them in this world, right? Honey, people still have families. Look at Amanda. She was born into this world. She's still happy. So, I still think we're gonna have a kid. I hope you're right. In fact, I think we're gonna have several, two, <laughs> maybe three, little tribe of bishops. They're splitting atoms. They show residual traces of strontium-90. That's a radioactive isotope. That's how they're making the electrolytes. Which means it'll leave a signature. Mm. Look for spikes in the remaining data. This is a campground. Do you think it's even possible to split atoms here? See them making s'mores, maybe, but weapons of mass destruction? No. Okay, you keep searching. I'm gonna call this in. Maybe there's a canister there. We found this sitting on top of a rock. I don't know if it means anything. Thank you, Agent. Sure. What is it? Peter? Does he know? We'll go back to the science division and see if maybe something's wrong with the radiation detection sensors. Okay, well, let me know if you find anything. Yeah, will do. Why is he not telling her about whatever that is? Is he gonna go talk to Walter Net? Does he know where that, like, whose house key that is? A place that's already been ambered? Why are they trying to open up that? Raiden Lake? Is that where Peter's going? Yeah. Is this where Walter Net is staying? Why'd you leave me the key, Walter? I knew you'd recognize it. I okay. could have just called you. Yes, you could have. Not if I wanted the proper reunion that we both so richly deserve. That was your way of getting my attention, among other things. What does he want? Why are you doing this? Yin yeah. and Yang. One man broke the universe, the other man did nothing. A 
I'd have his son stolen, his life stolen, ruined. I came over here at the end on a mission of mercy to ask for help for my side. And you destroyed us, Peter. My son. I mean, to you be destroyed fair, your own people. You activated the machine on your side. Yeah, I was gonna say. You're going to use it to destroy this universe. Yeah. I only acted in self-defense. I was gonna say, like, you actually did start it. You know what it's like to wake up just for a moment. Think that everything is as it was, and to realize it's not. The nightmare you had was real. Soon everyone here will experience loss the way that all those over there did. But why would you want that? You will experience loss the way I did. What does that mean? You destroyed my universe, son, and I'm going to destroy yours, but not all at once. Like, okay, like, literally, you started it. Like, Peter wanted to try to find a way to save both universes. You initiated us or them sort of situation. Tactical teams to enter the restaurant. I'm sorry, what just happened? I, I was just trying to write a note for a second. I came here alone, Walter, to make a personal plea to you. I'm sorry for the suffering that I've caused you. I'm sorry for destroying your people, our people. I'm sorry for destroying our world. And if I could take back that choice, I would. Maybe you can, though, because you're in the future. You know? But it's no excuse for what you're doing now. I agree with that as well. And it has to stop. I don't want to have to use these. But you're going to come with me now, Father. You know, Peter, if I was really there, I might not be able to resist killing you. I think this is the better way so you can learn about loss. Let's start by killing someone you love. <laughs> Why? What? Like, what? Like, what the fuck is wrong with Walter Net? Like, if he kills Olivia, I'm. G oh. Wormhole. So can you move everyone back? I hope Peter kills him. Oh my gosh, no, no! Oh my god! Okay, like, wow, I hope Peter kills him. My wife was everything to me. Can we go back now? I don't like this future. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, alternate's logic is so fucked up. asshole too he's like saying that he would want to kill peter like your son really you're gonna see the drawing
Words can't come close to mitigating your loss. I could go back in time and change things. I would. I would do anything to be able to go back and make different choices. You can't. There aren't any happy endings nowadays, are there? There fucking better be. There fucking better be. That's all I have to say. I remember the cow that stayed over there. Jean! <laughs> she had kind eyes. She did, didn't she? not too late. You can save both worlds. We can do it all over again. This time you, 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 you simply need to make a different choice. And yeah. should something go wrong, then Olivia will be our failed safe. Walter, stop. No, he's right. Olivia is dead. No. She won't be. Not dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back. Go back. The machine? Go back. I turned that on 15 years ago. Time I sat in prison, I, I, I couldn't figure out where it came from. I knew the pieces were buried millions of years ago, but how did they get there? It's so <laughs> deep in the past. Now I understand. What? I sent them there. The wormhole in Central Park. Peter, you can stop the destruction. Yeah. The, the, the air, the prehistoric. That's the case, just don't send the machine back. Then we'll never discover it, and I'll never destroy the other no, universe. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. I have already done it. Therefore, I have no choice but to do it again. Walter, that doesn't make any sense. It does. It does. It's, it, it's a paradox. The bootstrap paradox or whatever, right? I, I can't change what happens because it's already happened. You can make a different choice within what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to find a way to bring your consciousness forward to now so that you can witness what will happen if you make the same choice. He already did figure it out. It'll be happening already. Don't you see? Yeah, you you did, because cause he... he you can cheat the rules of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine the repercussions. You can. You can do it. There's no way of telling what the cost might be. Oh, gosh. But it can't be worse than this. Oh, God, no, now I'm scared. I mean, I, I creep. I don't... I don't know. I'm scared. You can't... I can't lose someone else. Walter? Okay, we're back, but... I don't understand what you're asking me to do. Drawing suggests that you have the connection with the machine. But you can stop it. We technically are, Olivia does. They outsmarted you, didn't they? Now we're the ones that are gonna get destroyed. Yep. That that is actually exactly what happened, girl. Oh, I'm so scared. 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 Peter! Olivia. Bring them there. Oh. Fight. <laughs> I understand now. What? 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 Could you? Could? Could, could you help me to understand? I understand what the machine does. And I know where it came from. First people? Yes, the first people, Walter, but the first people are us. You, most specifically. This isn't a war that can be won. Our two worlds are inextricable. So I've torn holes in both the universes. And they lead here, to this room, a bridge, so that we can begin to work together to fix it. 
Where did he go? You shattered my universe. You have any idea how many deaths you've caused? Where did Peter go? Accident. What you have tried to do, you've done on purpose. Whatever you've both done, we're here now. So maybe it's time we start to fix it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't trust that bitch. You, I like. Why are all the observers staring at it like that? You were right. They don't remember Peter. How could they? He never existed. He served his purpose. No. No. No, where did he go? No. This better not fucking be the end. Fuck you. hoping that like we could like see the future you know and then go back in the past and change it so like we don't get to that point <sighs> obviously that's what they did right but like, why does the cost have to be Peter you know like how can they not remember him I have to think they're gonna find a way to get Peter back, right? Like, I don't know how. Like, I don't know. But, we have to, like, we have to get Peter back, right? Like, it doesn't make sense because, okay, so say the, the paradox or whatever, right? But, like, Walter has to have a reason to go to the other world in the first place, right? To take Peter. So, like, if Peter doesn't exist, then it doesn't make sense that he goes there and, like, starts all of this, right? So, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, and, like, what's gonna happen to Olivia's baby now? Is it just not gonna exist anymore either because Peter didn't exist? to make her pregnant with the baby like you know I don't I I don't know all I want is for Peter and Olivia to get a happy ending you know and like like nobody remembers him also can I just say that like previous sympathy even in this episode sympathy that I had for for Walter and it is like completely gone now right because one, he was like, oh, I would kill you if I was really there. Which, like, really, Walter, you would kill your son? Because of something that you started? Walter Nett? Like, Peter is right. Like, Walter Nett turned on the machine. Which is what caused Peter to get in the machine in the first place. So, like, in this instance... Walter Nett initiated it. He initiated the end of his world. He just didn't anticipate that they would be able to, like, end his world first, right? So, like, all the shit that happened to Walter Nett is actually Walter Nett's fault. So why is he blaming Peter and putting the punishment on Peter and hating Peter for doing something that he backed him into a corner to do in the first place, you know? Like, 
make it make sense we'll turn it also that's still your son we also discovered how the machine parts got there which i still don't think it answers the question of like where the manuscripts that have the drawing of peter on them came from right like we know that like they are the first people right so it's like a whole paradox thing of like they did it so they'll always do it right so that's how that stuff happened but who created the drawings in the first place you know i feel like that still is a, is a question that i don't understand the answer to but I don't I, I I don't know you guys. I don't I don't know how to think and talk and feel about this episode because I the just the this fucking episode killed Olivia. Had to watch that. Had to watch Peter experience that, you know, didn't I knew that they could go back, but it still hit me like a fucking freight train, you know. And then I knew something bad was gonna happen to Peter because of the scene with Walter and Peter where he's like, you know, Ugh, like we can go back and change it, like make a different choice, whatever. It can't be worse than this. And like, like how are you gonna make me lose Olivia? How are you gonna give me cute married Olivia? And then you're gonna take it away? And then you're also gonna just take Peter away completely like <sighs> I'm not I'm not okay you guys like I'm, I'm not okay I don't know how to feel <laughs> like I just I have to think that we're gonna find a way to get Peter back but I just I don't know how because not only does he not exist but nobody remembers that he existed in the first place like I have to believe that <laughs> Peter and Olivia's soulmate-ness can somehow transcend that, that Walter's love for his son can somehow transcend that, you know, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know where we go from here, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know where we go from here. It was nice to see Ella in the future, right, and she's like a fringe agent. And to see her and Walter have their moments with like bonding, you know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting a headache from crying. <sighs> okay. I just, I, I just, I don't know what to say, you guys. I'm sorry. Like, this might be a really p short post episode discussion, even though it's a season finale, because like I didn't see it coming, you know, like. How, like fuck the observers too can I just say that like I, I don't care <laughs> I don't like Walter I don't like the observers I don't like it I'm sorry you guys I'm just I'm having a hard time right now um yeah and I don't I don't know what to say I don't know I don't know what to say like what did I write down even I wrote down Walter I hate him okay looking at my notes I want to know what we lost in Detroit, like what what reference is is that to um yeah like what what reference is that what happened to Broyles I how did he become a senator how I mean I guess Walter Nitt, like I don't know what they would have convicted Walter Nitt of that he would have ended up in prison I mean I understand that the the idea is that he started all of this but like I'm not sure what you could charge him with like he didn't really break any laws because there's no laws in place for like going to another universe and, and stuff so I don't, I don't I don't really understand that aspect of it it was nice to see Olivia learn how to control her powers it was nice to see her and Peter cute and happy and in love um like I, I have to believe that Peter is gonna somehow come back into this like I have to because it like to me, Fringe doesn't make sense without him. So I I kind of have to cling on to that hope. But I just, I, I don't understand how. And it's, it's really fucking me. Um, 
Like, I don't know why. It's more upsetting to me in this moment that he, like, never existed. And so they don't even know to, like, miss him. I don't know why that like breaks my heart so much though like he's so integral to the show and like it just it's so sad the amount of kleenex that i have used you guys <laughs> this episode is like I, i've already like i literally already emptied one box <laughs> i feel bad because i my post episode discussion isn't really contributing you know it's not expounding upon like thoughts and ideas and things but it's just me being emotionally impacted by the episode which I'm sure everyone was at the time right like I'm lucky in that in a few days in a week I can sit and watch season four episode one and like hopefully start to figure out how they're gonna get Peter back you know but like, I can't, <laughs> oh, uh, I can't imagine, like, watching this live, I would have, uh, I'm not okay now, I would not have been okay then, like, how are you guys doing, <laughs> are you okay, <laughs> like, whew. you know, y'all told me it was a good idea to watch this for my birthday, and like, now I'm like, I think you guys hate me, <laughs> because like, why would you, <laughs> Why did you do that to me on my birthday of all days? I'm not watching it on my birthday, to clarify. Uh, it will probably come out on my birthday, but... I wish I wish that I could say more. Um, there was a lot of good moments in this episode, like Peter called Walter dad. Um, why every time he calls him dad something like horrific happen afterwards like i'm not okay with that one astrid i just love um i'm sorry you guys I, I i don't think i'm gonna be able to be super articulate right now i'm just very sad i think it was a, a beautifully done episode a beautifully done couple of episodes you know i think that this season has been <laughs> An emotional roller coaster. I have fucking gone through it, you know? Uh, I think that it is only kudos to Fringe for making me so emotional and so speechless. Uh, the acting by everyone, but in particular Joshua Jackson, um, top tier. Um, this was a great season. This was a great story arc. I'm curious as to where they're gonna go after this. Uh, I think that it's interesting how they were able to make Walter Nitt be like the villain and then you really understand him and feel for him and see his perspective and then they were able to like once again like he's the fucking villain because I fucking hated him in this episode like <sighs> I guess it's gonna be interesting to see Olivia and Folivia interact going forward. They're not gonna remember Peter, so they're not really gonna have a lot of issues with each other, I assume. Um, all I know is that they're gonna get Peter back somehow, okay? And if they're not, then don't tell me because I need the denial, okay? <laughs> like, I need it right now. I, th I think that's all that I have to say. I don't want to burst out crying again, so I, I don't want to rehash. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that this was not the best post-episode discussion. I, I didn't have a lot to of insight to give or theories to unfold. I just had a lot of tears to flow. Yeah, but again, I think that that's just kudos to Fringe for making a show that I love and characters that I love so much that it completely breaks my heart that um, one of them is gone. I, I can't even think about Olivia. Like, I know that she doesn't know, but that's worse. Like, she hasn't even, like, what if she's just sad, but she doesn't know why she's sad. Okay, I'm sorry. 
I need to stop. I need to just stop. I need, I need to stop. Okay. If you guys are watching this, thank you so much. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. You can also join my Patreon where you can see season four, episode one right now. If you're on YouTube, you can also watch my entire full length reaction to this episode and every episode thus far of Fringe and some other shows over there as well. So if you're interested, uh, it's in the description, like I said. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go cry some more, honestly. <laughs> Until next time. Bye guys. Whew. Bye guys. Sorry. I wanted to say it with my chest.